it's a Bay Area hotspot for vacation rentals, but some residents in Sonoma County are getting sick of the out-of-towners. New at 6, KPX 5's Mike Sugarman with a look at why some people say their neighborhoods are turning into nightmares. Mike? Well, Veronica, this is something that's going on all over the place where there's a lot of vacationers. People bought houses. They they didn't figure they were going to live next door to tourists in their neighborhood all the time. But in this disrupted economy, that's what's happening. And Sonoma County is among the first in the country to try to deal with this. Is there a better place in the country for a rustic, romantic, relaxing vacation than Sonoma County? Vacation rentals are exploding. It's hot everywhere. Here's how hot it is in Guerneville along the Russian River. Tom Lowry was offered $5,000 just to put his home on an out-of-state rental site. That's a chunk of change, which made indicated to me that um, there's a lot of money involved in this. Quaint towns in the wine country and along the Russian River are seeing a flood of weekend vacationers, and that's leading to headaches, literally. She had weddings and big three-day three, three, three drumming parties. <laughs> 83-year-old <laughs> Mickey Cook watches every weekend the steady stream of overnighters from her Glen Allen home. Bringing dogs and smoking and making a lot of noise. And sometimes we can have as many as 43 people on the road on a weekend that don't live here. So that's a little hard to take. Well, this one right here and the one next door to it. Tom Lowry has problems almost every weekend. It sounds like they're... Uh having some sort of an award ceremony where suddenly people go, oh, start clapping, yay, 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 and, you know, it's 11 o'clock at night. It's a problem anywhere there are vacation rentals, especially now with Airbnb and aggressive out-of-state rental agencies. How to solve it? Some county is just going to tax, tax more people. And, of course, the vacation people are going to pay for those taxes. So that might just slow the process down a little bit. Every one of the vacation rentals should have um, an on-site owner. That would keep people quiet. That would keep people in order. They don't do that at Russian River Escapes, but they do drive around to dozens of their rentals every night to make sure it's not too noisy. I've been doing that for years, just going by and checking on the rental and making sure they're not disturbing neighbors. They're our neighbors, too. There's going to be a meeting here at the Veterans Memorial Auditorium in Santa Rosa to try to hash all this stuff out tonight. In Santa Rosa, Mike Sugarman, KPIX 5.